Uh, it's been exciting. Um, you know, since day one, I, I got in Serbia. It's it's been uh, you know a long process. Um, I had I had a, a a goal when I landed there, um, and 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 I believe I I reached my goal now. You know, I, I got a long way to go in my career, but at this point, I've I've, I've done what I needed to do and, and made the most of my opportunity over there. Um, well, it started I think it was like 2012 in Adidas Nations. Um, when I was with Dante and Ben, <clears throat> we had the Australian team, um, and that was my first time really coming over and, and seeing the comparison between the competition, uh, competition-wise, high school here and high school back, back home. Um, and so I, 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 after that, I went back and you know spoke with my dad and, and told my dad, you know, I want to, I want to go over there to, for the betterment of my, of my career and, and just play against better competition. And so uh, we made that move. I ended up going to Finlay, Finlay Prep, uh, and then to Brewster Academy, and then from there I went to UCLA. Um, it, it was great. Um, like I feel like I, I had a lot of you know teammates that became brothers. You know, Rashad Vaughns and Kelly Oubre's and you know whatnot. But um, uh, yeah, you know it was it was it was different for me. The first couple of weeks, you know, I was a little homesick. It was the first time being away from from family. You know, living living away. Um, but then I think it was around December where where something happened with the schooling. You know, some with the with the Finlay prep. And so I had and and actually I. Jason Smith, my coach at Brewster, had reached out to me before I um, had gone to Finlay. It was between Brewster and Finlay, and then he heard about the situation at Finlay, so he reached out and told me, you know, you got a spot here at Brewster uh, if you want to want to um, change schools. And so I ended up making that decision, making that move to Brewster, where I where I made a new family um, and gra- ended up graduating from there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I was recruited by UCLA pretty hard. Uh, coach Grace and Coach Broussard were, were the top uh, recruiters. Coach Schilling is al- uh, also a top um, one of the coaches that, that recruited me hard. Uh, and so they made a, a lot of trips out to Brewster. Uh, first trip was actually at Finlay. Coach Grace came out there. Uh, then then they all changed and came out to Brewster. But then they actually Coach Grace flew out to Australia to see my f- family out there, and that was a big big thing for me. You know, they, they showed that they prioritized my family as well. Uh, and so when they came back, maybe a week after that they came back from the trip, they flew me and my dad out for an official visit. Uh, LA just felt like home, you know. I'm from I was born in Sid- uh, born in Melbourne and grew up in Sydney, and, and Sydney uh, LA reminds me a lot of a lot of Sydney. So um, you know the fact that they flew out there and then I came out and had an official visit and, and got a great vibe. You know the environment. Each coach had a different um, uh, you know aspect to uh, to me in different ways. You know, Coach Schilling was a religious, you know, off court individual guy. You know, Coach Grace and Coach Broussard. You know, I knew I could always talk to them off the court, and and and, and Coach Alford and, and and Coach Edney were were very you know important to me in my my time there. You know, and I still have a great relationship with all of them, the, the coaches and the, and the teammates. <clears throat> I think I've matured uh, as a man. You know, off court. You know, I, since I've been in Serbia, I was I had to, I lived by myself. You know, I had no 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 roommates, no no team. You know, I didn't really know anyone when I first got there. Um and so I lived by myself. I had my own own time, you know, I was on my own schedule. It wasn't a college regime anymore where I had, you know, class and this, that, you know, it was freedom which made me become more independent. I had to do my own schedule, you know, we had the practice in the morning and then in the afternoon. But overall, you know, I had to I had to pretty much grow up, you know, as a person and and, and that's that's what what I've done. Different <clears throat> different to LA for sure. Um I mean it wasn't bad. It wasn't a cultural shock at all, you know. I'm from Australia, so I'm already I'm already a f- foreigner in a sense to to America. I'm half American, but I grew up there. So, and I went to under 19s um, in in Czech Republic, and before that we had Lithuania. So it wasn't a cultural shock in a sense, you know. The language barrier wasn't wasn't too much of a too much of a shock either. For the most part, most of my team I spoke English, so it wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't like I said, it wasn't Los Angeles. It wasn't. It's, it's still they're still recovering from from what happened years ago, and and so. For me, that didn't didn't affect me too much. You know, I knew I had I made the decision to leave. You know, I could easily not made the decision and still been in in LA. So for me, at the back of my head, I always I always told myself, you know, you made the decision, you're here, and let's just roll with it. Yeah. Um. So it wasn't a it wasn't an instant uh, decision. You know, it was more so like a two week, three week process. You know, going back and forth with the coaches, my family, um, going over the pros and cons of leaving, going over the pros and cons of staying. Um, and so it, it, my dad was was a big influence. He, he always told me, you know, I'm here for you. You make the decision on your own. You know, you, you do what you need to do. You, you're in some, at the time I was still in summer school. Um, and so I was still taking classes. I was still practicing and working out with the team at the time. Um, but so but at the end of it, I, I, I'd gone over a couple of games and, and, and I just saw myself, I just felt I could utilize my skill set more, you know. And, and, and I knew, always knew my dad had played 18 years professionally and, and I always knew that I could, and, and you know I could I could start my professional career if if I wanted to and 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 that's what I ended up choosing you know ultimately it was just the it, it just I just felt like I could do more 
you know, given 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 the opportunity and 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 whatnot. So, uh, my dad's uh, born and raised in Flint, Michigan. Uh, he he went to Boise State uh, for four years, and then he went overseas and started playing professionally in Australia and a couple of years in Europe. Uh, my mom's from Egypt originally. She uh, <coughs> she was she moved when she was younger <coughs> to to Melbourne, Australia. Um, my sister's 18. She's a couple of years younger than me, and, and we were both <coughs> born and raised in in, in Australia. Uh, I feel like I can be an impact player straight away, um, just with my, my versatility, defensive versatility, my length, uh, my ability to get the rebound, push the floor, uh, creating for my teammates, and, and, and my shooting ability. Uh, length, uh, you know, the, the, the three and the four now is, is kind of a, a mesh between the two, and, and I feel like that's, that's who I am. You know, I'm, I'm a three slash four. Um, you know, like I said, get the rebound and push. You know, it used to be the power forward was a, a bigger, solid, solid kind of a little bit shorter, maybe a six eight, uh, solid power forward on the block. Uh, nowadays, it's a longer guy. You know, stretch, he can stretch the floor, set the screen and pop. You know, get the rebound, uh, get the get the uh, ball, put it on the floor a little bit and create for others. So I feel like that's that's ideal for me. You know, that's what that's what I do. <clears throat> uh, for me, it was it was a lot more physical. Uh, that was the biggest biggest adjustment for me, physicality in that league, and that's I think that's. Profession, any professional league is going to be is going to be uh, physical, but just Serbian and the, the Adriatic league was a lot more physical, uh, higher IQ, the IQ over there because they're, they're not as athletic as, as college in, in America, so they have to rely more on their their IQ. So that was a, it was another thing. Um, but the, the Adriatic league, the Alba league is, is is great. You know, I think the the, the Jokic's and then and and um, a couple other players came out of there, um, and and. For me, we, we had the we had the Alba League, the Adriatic League, and then we had a Serbian, just a local Serbian league, and, the, and there was a big difference between the two, uh, just in, in the physicality, the higher IQ, and just better overall players. Sure. Uh, recently, I've watched a lot of Giannis uh, into the Kubo, just in the sense that he he's, he's long, uh, you know, and 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 he's he's transformed his game since day one. You know, you can see a huge black and white difference between when he was a rookie to now. And uh, that just comes with the mentality of, of wanting to improve every day, and that's 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 definitely the the, the approach I've, I've I've started to get get since I've stepped in Serbia. You know, that was one of my things when I got over there. You know, I knew every day was gonna getting better to achieve my ultimate goal, and 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 so seeing him from his day one to now, and now what he's become with his length, you know, his ability to play the point if he needs, play the shooting guard pretty much one to five if he needs to, um, and and use his his skill set. Uh, I mean, it's different. Uh, the guys are the guys are the, my teammates were all very hosp hospitable. You know they're always you know they're very uh, like family orientated and and for them the team is is a family. So they they really you know you really get that brother you know you're you're their brother sense. Uh, you know every day they were like you know they come over come over to my place you know and and a lot of them were older so they have families and 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 wives and stuff so they were always invited me over for for dinner or hang out and stuff like that. So it's it's different to call you know you don't you don't have obviously. Guys that are that have families, you know, wives and kids, and and so that was that was that was for me that was great. Uh, for me, just the right fit, uh, and that was the that was the that was just pretty much the the just getting the opportunity, you know, and 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 whether I go one, whether I go sixty, if if I get picked on on the right team, you know, for me that's that's the that's the ultimate goal, you know. Um, and any in any team I go to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the most of my opportunity. But if if I had the option of going number one, if I had the and, and going number one, or if I had the option of going 60 to a right right fit, I'd, I'd for, for sure go to the right fit. You know, for me, I know I can play um, in in any system. But if I'm in the right system, in 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 the, in the, in the perfect system for, for me, then that's that's perfect. Uh, I think you know you can ask a lot of my ex teammates, UCLA teammates, and guys from last. You know, I'm just a fun fun bubbly guy. You know, um, you know I crack some jokes. Sometimes I, sometimes guys take it the wrong way. You know, I kind of on Australia. You know, we kind of go at each other. You know, we. Kind of make jokes about each other and stuff like that. Um, you know, otherwise I like to play the you know the two Ks and 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 chill. Otherwise, mm. uh, I mean I think it's just now is the generation, this new generation. Um, you know, you got like the like you said the Dante's Bend and now Thon 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 Maker as well. Um, and so we're just a different generation. You can see we're all long. We're all I think over six. You know, I don't know what I think the Dante's six seven six six eight what, what not. So we're all over that. And I think it's just a totally different era. Of, of Australian basketball players, you know, and, and we all have a different mindset, you know, we all want we all want to get better. You know, I'm not saying that the last generation didn't want to get better every day, but we all we all come the, the Dantes, me and, and and Ben have all had, you know, African American fathers that weren't from Australia. So I think that's that's also, you know, it kinda helps. But otherwise, yeah, we all just I think it's just a new era era and, and yeah.
uh, you know, physicality. Uh, you know, the the year over in in in, in uh, Serbia definitely helped me adjust into the pr the pros. Uh, but physicality in the sense that just putting on more weight. Um, you know, I'm I'm 227 last time I weighed myself, but I just want to get bigger and fill out more in, in my body. You know, getting the leg strength under me. Um, you know, working on my my uh, face up one on one game. Uh, off the dribble, you know, one dribble pull up mid range for me is is a big thing right now, and and getting that quick the quick floaters and quick touches. Uh, you know, that's a successful career in the NBA. Uh, my 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 goal for this upcoming year is rookie of the year. Um, but but five years down the track, I see myself being on a, having a successful impact on any team that I'm on. You know, the ultimate goal in the NBA is to win a championship for me. Um, and whether that, whether I have to have to be a starter, whether I have to be a, a, a sixth man, or whether I'm I'm sitting on a bench, you know, for me, it's, it's if if I'm making a making a team better and, and we're, we're having success, that's that's the ultimate goal for me. Uh, I don't know if I'd believe the path that they would have told me, um, but the the NBA has always been my, my dream, and I've always imagined and pictured myself being in the NBA, you know, and, and I'm I'm a, a firm believer in, in in seeing a dream every day, and, and it manifests itself into reality, and and, and I've always believe that I'll be in the NBA. I don't know about going to UCLA, red shirt in my first year, you know, having, uh, you know, not so many minutes, second year, and then having to go to Serbia, you know, I, I think 13, 14 months ago, I, I had no clue about Serbia other than the NBA players. Um, but other than that, you know, I, I've always believed that I'll play in the NBA. Great. Well, thank you so much, Jonah. I appreciate the time. Good luck to you.